So there's no part of the day when you're actually not in pain? No, does it exist? So there's no part of the day when you're actually not in pain? No, does it exist? Like, with the mixture, the lovely cocktail of combined illnesses, I don't get to get medication and I had to get to a place where learning to cope in pain every day mm -hmm. learning to cope in pain every day mm -hmm. and functioning and yeah. for me it took me years yeah. to be able to accept that that was my life I, I, Same here. I took all these drugs I took all of these trials mm -hmm. and I, can, I had the last thing I did was the morphine patch and mm -hmm. this was like after a two year drug trial. Mm -hmm. Had a morphine patch of, of another two year drug trial. Mm -hmm. And the morphine patch worked in the morning and I woke up that morning with less pain than I'm used to and it was like, wow! And I had an appointment to go to the that they help you with adaption, adaption. Oh, oh, occupational therapy. So I went there and to see what stuff is available. Whilst I was there, the allergic reaction to the morphine started to kick in. Mm -hmm. And I had a school run to do. And I can remember sitting there feeling like this world is spinning. Mm -hmm. And was talking to me. And then the intense vomiting on the floor of the place and having to rip off the patch knowing that it was clean enough and I've got to leave here to drive to do the school run. Mm. And I feel it was on that drive, whilst pulling over to vomit, that I was like, I can't do this. Mm. This, this was my last hope. With me, I don't know if it's the same with you, when I was doing a drug trial, I'd have to wait a couple months because the side effects took months to die down. Right. So where I like waited two, three months to put this morphine patch on mm -hmm. and being happy that morning like yeah, yeah, yeah. finally the side effects of that. Coming home like thinking doing a school run and I how old was my daughter? My daughter was in nursery. My youngest was in nursery my other daughter was in primary school. And realising there isn't nothing more. Mm. There isn't one other drug that I haven't tried that hasn't given me an adverse reaction. Mm. So I've just got to cope. So I can remember being sick, driving, coming home, doing a school run, having to be in pain, upset that I know these medications are working, cooking dinner, mm -hmm. doing the bathtub routine, and then conking out and going to bed. Mm. So like a couple months after that, yeah. I start projects to just make myself happy mm -hmm. because day to day I'm always going to be in pain. Yeah. I haven't done any drugs trials, mm. but my experience of taking medication is that between the ages of around 17 to 21, they were giving me different painkillers and anti inflammatories and stuff. And what would happen is that they might last, they might take the edge off because I've, I've never had anything that gets rid of the pain. They might take mm -hmm. the edge off for an hour or two, but you can't take anything more than any sooner than every four hours. So I actually got to a point at 21 where I accidentally overdosed mm. on medication because it just wasn't working. So I was taking too many, too, too, too much. So that was when I made a decision that I can't do this the medication thing anymore. Mm. And I had to learn how to manage it without it, which is very, very difficult. I mean, now my back's hurting me right now. Yeah. Now, honestly, if I didn't say it, nobody would know it, yeah. you know? But that's an everyday thing for me. For me, it's just that it's to the point of having your daily pain, which is what you're used to, but you can still function and then having the flare ups which is you can't function as well or manage as easily. But there's no, for me, I know that if I was to do the morphine and the stronger mm -hmm. medication, I wouldn't be able to function. function how I need to function in regards to my parenting, 
in regards to my business and just driving, just everyday life. I want to be able to function in a way that I can have a decent quality of life. Yeah, you, you just don't have a decent quality of That's life. That's right. Because you live in this sleeping fog. Yeah. And you could easily sleep away weeks when I've had to go to hospital mm -hmm. and for them to maintain the pain is to keep me drugged up. Mm -hmm. It's horrific. Then you yeah. wake up, what, what day is it? Yeah. Oh, it's April and I swear I was in there in February. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> that ain't the life for me. No, like, yeah. no. Yeah. I always let you know that most of my business projects are set up as an art of a distraction. Mm. So the focus is on that and not on how I'm feeling. Mm. So I've always, what do I feel like I ran up the stairs? I feel like I'm out of the way. sleeping off like that. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> 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 I'm crying out. <laughs> 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 I'm 